Welcome. One of the best ways for you to not eat bad food is to not have any bad food around. And I don't mean hiding it in the cupboards because you know how drug addicts are. The minute they jones for something, you're gonna, even if you buried it in the backyard, the next thing you know, you're digging it out, even with your bare hands, because you just gotta have whatever it is. So you just have to avoid temptation by not having anything accessible to you. And the best place to start is in the house. Let's say you cleared out all the bad stuff I mean, alcohol, cookies, crackers, cakes, bread, sugar, dairy, all the bad stuff. Like, you just got rid of it, okay? Let's say the only thing you had, you open the fridge, you're really hungry, and there's a cucumber in the fridge. It's the only thing in there. Okay, so I know what you're going to do. You're going to close the fridge and desperately start looking through all the cupboards, right? You're going to be like, oh my God, there's got to be something here I can snack on. If there was a cookie hidden anywhere in the house, you're going to find it. But let's say there's nothing. All the cupboards are empty. You're going to go back to that fridge. You're going to open that, get the cucumber, and eat it because you have no choice. When you're hungry, you're going to eat whatever's there. So make sure the only thing is there is that cucumber. If you can't eat it responsibly, then yeah, don't let it in your house. Food is very scarce all over the world. For us to be picky about what food we eat, when if we are hungry, we will be eating a kale salad with dandelion greens and all that. If it's the only thing you have. For yeah. sure, and that's yeah. why I don't purchase anything bad because I'm only human. If I'm hungry and I, my brain chemistry is perfect, I'm gonna eat like some cookies if they're in the house. But I don't, when it's not in the house, what I do is I eat my fruit salad. We're all human. We all have like, if something is dangling in front of you, if there's a cookie or a piece of cake or cheese or whatever, you're gonna, you're, no matter who you are and what diet you're on, you're gonna have that weak moment. So the first step is when you go grocery shopping, do not go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. Make sure you are full, like the thought of food's gonna make you throw up. And then only buy the healthy stuff from the produce section and then run out of there as fast as possible. This is why I spend so much time in the grocery store. I used to, I, I'd grab things and I'd look, I'm like, this looks so good. And I'd grab it and I'd be reading all the ingredients. And I'm like, I can't do it. And I put it back because I just cannot. And it really, it was still vegan, but not in, to my standards. Read the ingredients. Do, the best thing is don't buy anything that comes in a box or a jar or a bag or a bottle. Just go to the produce section where the groceries are. You know, the fruits and vegetables, you know, that stuff that grows on plants uh, and trees. Kimchi, olive oil, spices. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that. And it's fermented foods. If it grows in nature, that's a good start. You should see my fridge. It's so boring, but when I'm hungry, you know. It's it's like a garden. It's just plants. It's 90% plants. Don't make yourself accessible to things you shouldn't be consuming in life, in anything. And temp avoid the temptation. If you go to a restaurant, <laughs> you're going to probably order something you shouldn't. When the, wait when the waitress says, would you like the bread? Of course you're going to say, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, like. I love denying the bread. Yeah. Try this, just try not being a picky eater. You know, I've heard obese women say, I'm a picky eater and I completely understand what she's saying. She's saying, I prefer foods that taste good immediately, that give me instant, instant gratification, yeah. that give me that buzz. That, that's what she means by being a picky eater. I'm not a picky eater and there is no instant gratification with the food I get. My instant gratification comes hours and days and weeks and months well, and years after the meal has been consumed. It's an investment. Why do most people choose food or what, what they eat? It's based on how it tastes. Not necessarily the nutritional value, it's taste and texture. That's the problem, is they're not choosing it because it's good for them, they're choosing it because it tastes good and it gives them instant gratification. When you eat that, it feels good for the first 20 seconds and you're paying for it for the next two days. Now, if you eat something healthy, you might not like the way it tastes, you might not like the texture, and it's like, ugh, that's only 20 seconds. 20 seconds of ugh. But yeah. for the next two days, you are feeling alive and full of life and, and no pain, no stress, no nothing. You are fully like, this is how you should be. And after a while, you're like, 
wow, so this is what living is supposed to be like. You know, so that 20 seconds of taste and texture is probably the best investment you can ever make and it takes some strength at first to get going on it. But if all you have in the fridge is a cucumber <laughs> or something healthy, you, and there's nothing else anywhere, and on any of the cupboards, there's nothing. You, you know, nothing underneath of anything. Then, then you're going to end up eating it because it's more effort to get in the car, go to the store or the Jack in the Box down the street, than to just eat something right then and there. Just bite into it. So only get stuff that that you know is good for you. Hunger is one of the best, most important ingredients in anybody's meal. Hunger. And a great indicator of if your meal is really healthy and you're nutritious for your body is take a look at your bowel movement. Was it difficult? Was it simple? Was it perfect? Was it easy? Was quick, fast and easy? That's the key word is easy. Does it just fall out or do you have to like, or is, is it a battle that touches on uh, what are you drinking? Because a lot of things like coffee dehydrate and then when you dehydrate, you're like, oh, uh, when you try to go to the bathroom, you drink a lot of water, it just goes whoosh. The only thing we have to drink in the house is water or, green juice if we're gonna juice it but water that's what we drink that's the healthiest yeah. thing to drink or tea or tea but that's yeah. it you know yeah, yeah right water right. that's it yeah keep it simple don't expose yourself to any temptation as much as possible start with your house because that's where you spend most of your time probably you know, you're always passing through the kitchen. At least have something healthy that's not going to spike your blood sugar. Don't have just sweet fruits like mangoes and bananas and grapes and stuff. Mm. Have some things that are actually savory and good for you that actually help your digestion and help your, your health. After this, I'm going to go have my natto with um, kimchi on top. Or do something simple, like an, like an apple with peanut butter. You know, that's an old classic. You know? Get creative with what you have. I mean, it's, just, it's actually kind of cool. Some of my best recipe ideas came when I didn't want to leave the house. I barely had anything. And you didn't want to make a bed. And I said, well, what happened if I put this together with this? And I went, oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. When I discovered this vegan restaurant a couple decades ago, they were really into diet cheese. And I did gain 10 pounds from eating there. And I never am 10 pounds overweight, rarely. So what I did to lose the weight was, and it worked, I just cut my portions in half. So everything I, I, I made, I just cut them in half. Well, it's three things. It's what you eat, how often you eat, that includes snacking all day because your insulin stays high, and how much you eat of it. Right. That's it. And try to eat in the beginning of the day, not at the end of the day, because your body will use it up by the time you go to sleep. If you eat later in the day, you got unused food that's gonna just turn into fat. Also, if you, the busier you are, I know when I was in my late teens, during my teens, I was always trying to lose weight, <laughs> like every girl, and I noticed the, the busier I was when I'd go to the mall, when I'd hang out with friends, um, next thing you know, it's like six in the evening, and I'm like, wow, I didn't even eat yet. Intermittent fasting, right there. <laughs> so keep it simple. Avoid uh, exposure to anything bad, starting with your house. Keep the cup, just literally do some spring cleaning. Go through your house, go through your cupboards in your fridge, all that stuff that's buried away, get rid of it. As we're getting older, it's just fun to see how we can slow the aging process down and food plays such a huge role in that. So get rid of the stuff that's bad for you and give it to the people you don't like. <laughs> I mean, I just, this is serious. Take this seriously, go through your house, do it, get a giant box, fill it up with all the stuff that you know is bad for you and get rid of it. So that's it. And watch, <laughs> make it so you can only eat the good stuff. That's the only thing you have that you can actually grab and put in your mouth. What if people say, but I have family and they have snacks and bad food that they must eat. Oh, that's a tough uh, You know what I say to that? I say, you know what? You are the mothers or you guys bring, I don't know if just all mothers are watching, but you know, just change it. Well, for the mothers, I say, you're the mothers, you need to, well, and then it's just, I don't know, my God. Yeah, the husband's gonna want his beer and, and, and beef Chips. and hot dogs, yeah. <laughs> Find the right person to live with. <laughs> That's a good start. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, well, do what you can. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. You think anybody's actually gonna do this? Give it to people you don't like.
yeah, well, I think that's brilliant. You know, it doesn't go in the landfill. Oh. They, they think you're being nice. You make new friends. It's good all around. Everybody wins.